a terrific opportunity for him tonight as he'll hand it off to his senior captain to start things off here. Devontae Pernot for their seven game schedule in the spring. Your IOS determined run on first down. Deason typically much further along in terms of passing touchdowns at this point of a season. Oh wow, look at that. Two seasons. Taking more pride in that area here. Across the middle, nice pass by Cooper and a lot of room to run across the middle of the field. As Edwards remains in. Play action, looking to go deep to the outside. And that's a second consecutive reception for Edwards there. And Jacksonville State is The red zone play this week, stepping up. Karadzic from 30, no problem there. That'll knock things up. Ed will take the first snap on this drive. He'll hand it off. Get a little bit of breathing room along the oh. An opportunity here, simple pass out into the flat as Josh Turner meets Josh Samuel. That's Trey Berry in motion. He'll fake the pitch. Oh, what a nice play there as Zion Webb slides safely into a first down. Quarterbacks in the past. Zion Webb doing a great job of faking out the defender there. Gaining some positive yards. Asher O'Hebiel. We'll see Cooper again moving forward. He'll hand it off to Josh Samuel on the sweep. First down and a little bit more across midfield for Josh for FIU. JSU competing very well here after one. This is to Samuel on the near side. He's going to pick up 30. Uh, hand off Samuel straight up the middle. There goes Samuel tripped up at the 14. As Dames came in to make the shoestring tackle. 40 yards near this season. Four. Here he goes. Brought down right before the goal line. Webb goal. Webb gives it off once again. This time Samuel will get into the end zone. Jacksonville State takes the lead. Running the football. It seemed like he got that PD light when he went to the sideline there. <laughs> he needed a quick break. He was right back on the field and in the end zone before he knew it. He it was an easy victory in Kentucky. Jacksonville State looks like they're coming in here to Miami tonight. Prospect there. So here's Max Bordenschlager for the first time tonight, handing it off to Devontae Price. Uh, Stone Norton outs as well. You see Veraldo Fairweather, the lone guy on the near side. Bordenschlager, oh, this is deflected and nearly picked off. Turin this month. They're down. Bordenschlager wrapped up and taken to the turf. A terrific defensive series there. Is okay, we'll continue to monitor that. Here's the third and three as Webb goes to the outside. Maeva, oh, not able to shove him out of play. As Uriah West bulldozing people out across the 40 yard line. What a. Shoved close to him. Going off to him once more. Space up the middle again. Game of 12 for Uriah West. On both running backs to be in a groove here for Jackson. A soccer player growing up. Football on its way. Just slip inside. Second and eight here. Webb places it into the pads of Samuel. This guy's having himself a game. Out across the 40-yard line. John, he was nicked up a little earlier. Tyson Maeva as well. This is out into the flat. Why not get him more involved? There goes Samuel following some blockers. And they're into FIU territory. Rye West this time. Shaking off some ankle tackles. There he goes, one to beat. Dames trying to bring him down, and finally at the five, successful. The Uriah West. He had some field goal woes last year. It's not been the case thus far. Top five in the country in rushing yards per carry. Here's Nate Jefferson lit up on the near side. What is an important drive for FIU right now. They're going to go three and out here. Plenty of time for Noor now. He tucks and runs. Diving forward. Lost the football. And if this came out before his knee touched the ground, it will absolutely be Jacksonville State's. Peterson in as an H-back. Price bouncing to the outside. Can't avoid that tackle along the edge. We're doing all this without Zarek Cooper. On the bench, on the sidelines. And crutches for that first quarter injury to begin the fourth quarter. Receivers out, prices in pass protection. And could not keep Norton safe. Looking much more positive. Second and 11. 
Down into the flat, Uriah West. He has a first down. There goes West. JSU creeping into field goal range. Go hand off to West. He has the first down. Down in the football. West. He finds a gap. There goes Uriah West. Got that five yards back and more. This time he puts it through. A huge end. Norton flushed out to his right, now sets his feet. Mitchell can't make the diving grab. And this was Fantastic game tonight. Tell me about coming in with Coop out hurt and how you came in and just filled that role. Um, it's kind of just like stepping in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't practiced really in two weeks, um, dealing with my knee injury. But I uh, just kind of got in there, took it play by play, and did what I had to do. How did you feel tonight once you got in there? I felt comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Those guys, I know those guys had my back. You know what I'm saying? All I had to do was my job, and they were finna the rest. Tell me if you think FIU preparing for a Zarek Cooper-type quarterback helped you in the run game tonight. Uh, I really don't know. I can't tell you. All I know is I had to play my game when I was, you know what I'm saying, when they called me, and I had to be prepared, and that's what I did. How does it feel being the first FCS team this year to beat an FBS team? Uh, it feels good. It feels good anyway, just winning. Um, we don't really worry about if it's FBS, FCS, uh, what may be the case. We just come out every game and uh, try to play four quarters. And finally, how does it feel to close out the fall portion of your schedule with a big win over an FBA school like this? Uh, it feels great, man. You know what I'm saying? We can just go home with a win on our chest, open back up the new season, and uh, do it all over again. Win over an FBS school. Tell me what you felt out there. Oh, I really just want to thank my snapper and my holder, Tommy and uh, Preston. They do a really great job. Like a lot of those are kind of just maybe a little lucky, but it's all them. All the credit goes to them and Coach Thurman. I wish he was here tonight with us, but I did it for you, Coach Thurman. So that's all I got to really say. Tell me about the season that you've had. This being your freshman year, you close out your fall portion with a big game like tonight over an FBS school. Tell me what the magnitude is of getting that win tonight and going into the spring with a 3-1 record. It feels great. Like I'm really happy that we could have we went positive this year, and that I mean it feels awesome. Really, like the whole team is really really happy, and it's just really really great for the whole school. So, being a freshman on this team, how have you meshed with the guys? You know, because you're stepping in here in a big role. Tell me about what it's been like being on the team so far. Well, it's really them. They kind of like let me in and stuff, and they they're really nice to me. And it's just you know they're they're trying to be my friend, and that's really all. That's really all to it. Josh, a huge game tonight, big game in the backfield. Tell me how you felt out there. I felt great. Um, I got a good bit of carries tonight, and, you know, the, the offensive line did incredibly. They did. It was outstanding. They were outstanding. Um, I told the guys I got a meal on me. You know, they, they really work hard in practice every day, and, they, and they, they work, they work, and they work, and they showed it tonight. Tell me about the moment that Zarek went out and, Coop and uh, Zion came in. Tell me about your thoughts on that and how you guys reacted having the new captain back there. The momentum did shift a little bit, but it, it, was, it changed in a hurry. We knew Zion was a great quarterback. We always knew that he was always just waiting on his turn, and, and he showed it tonight that, you know, that that quarterbacks always stay ready. The backup always got to stay ready, and he, and he showed it tonight, and we got the dub. What's it mean to you to have the first win of the season over an FBS team by an FCS team? That's incredible. Um, you know, I just came to FCS, so I know that's a, a big accomplishment um, amongst our team, and, you know, I was – in the Conference USA, and I, this is my second time playing this team, so I kind of knew the ins and outs of the game. I knew what their weaknesses were, so um, I just came out here and just executed in the show. How big is it to you? Finesse dummy blocks. <laughs> my boy was throwing that rock today. Actually, my former teammate right there, um, we both went WKU together, so, you know, it's always, it's, we've been knowing each other for almost four years now, so it's always great memories between us, and, you know, he's my roommate. You know, we'll always be brothers for life, and, you know, he's off his line, so he get a meal, too. <laughs> What's it mean to go into the spring with a 3-1 record and a win over an FBS team like this? It's definitely a great momentum um, factor. Um, we just got to go back to work. Um, you know, we might have a week or two off, and we're going to get right back at it like we always do, and we're going to keep working. And tonight over FIU, tell me about your thoughts on it. Um, it's a great feeling. Me and my teammates, we all came out here. Um, we did what we prepared to do. You know what I'm saying? We didn't do too much. We just did what we worked hard. Every day at practice, we give it our all. So today was, it was expected to win. 
We heard a lot about the FIU running back coming into this game. Tell me what the defense did to really lock him down and be successful. Oh, we just practiced hard. We ran to the ball every day of practice. You know what I'm saying? We keyed on him. We keyed on 33. We had a plan. We had something for him. Um, we just did what we practiced every day. Nothing new. Uh, he's a good back. 33 is a good back, but hey, we the best. We the best defense in the OVC. So, hey, hey, is it what it is right now? How does it feel to go into the spring with a 3-1 record with a win over an FBS team? It feels good. Um, it's a blessing. Um, Coach Gross and our coaching staff, they prepare us well. You know what I'm saying? They keep us grounded, they keep us humble, and they just prepare us well. We got the best coaching staff anybody can ask for. I got great teammates. Um, I'm pretty sure we're excited about this. We're going to carry this momentum over to the spring. Um, we're going to keep getting better every day. We're going to keep working, keep getting better. Just the beginning of something great, you know what I'm saying? It's a new team. Just everything is new right now, you know what I'm saying? We just getting our groove, so this is just only the beginning. But I promise you, this is not the end of nothing. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to keep getting better. We're going to keep working. Well, I thought the glass played great. Uh, we knew what we had to do to win the game. We need to control the line scrimmage because they uh, they like to stop the run. They like to run the football and possess the ball. And, you know, we were able to do that. We knew we had to do that. Our guys up front, front seven, both sides of the ball played extremely well. So, and we had talked about it, you know, all week long of playing for 60 minutes. And we felt like we had not done that yet. You know, we played good spurts for a quarter or a half. And, we put full 60 minutes together tonight and just dominate the line of scrimmage. I feel you know, great about the way the guys stepped up. It's an next man up mentality because we got a lot of guys out, banged up, hurt, out for testing. Uh, you get uh, Coop gets hurt, third play of the game. Uh, you know, comes back and plays the series with a broke leg, you know, and then we find out it's broke. I thought Zion Webb did an excellent job coming in, just managing the game and making some great plays and put us in position. And, you know, if we kick, get the ball in the end zone uh, and I have to kick so many field goals, the game wasn't even close uh, at the end. So I don't think the score indicated how bad, uh, you know, statistically we, uh, we whipped them up front. And, of course, Alan Karajic was responsible for four of those field goals. Tell me about his play, especially being a freshman. Can't say enough about that. He's All-American caliber. You know, he's just automatic almost, you know, kicking the field goals. And I had the one blocked. I don't know if it's, you know, blocked off the edge. I don't know if it's a slow approach or, you know, what it was. But uh, a little bit of both probably. Uh, if we get that one in, uh, the game's out of reach already, you know. But uh, I thought our guys just played well, kept making plays. And we did exactly what we talked about doing, uh, you know, going into the game. So just very proud of our staff. I we had a great game playing both sides of the ball and, and did some really good things. And finally, your running backs had a great game, Josh Samuel being one of them. Tell me about the backs tonight. Yeah, and I just said front seven played great. I mean, up front, defensive line, offensive line played excellent. But, you know, you can't say enough about your Ryan Josh. I mean, they just played. Uh, they said something in dressing room about taking no line out to eat, you know. So, I mean, th those guys ran the ball extremely hard. They were exhausted at the end of the game. I mean, it was 285 yards rushing, I think, somewhere like that. And, uh, just, you know, they just ran the rock. You know, they pounded it. You know, proud of no turnovers. We didn't turn the ball over. You know, so that was a big thing. What does it mean to go into the spring with a 3-1 and one record and a win over an FIU? I think it's big. You know, we can get to play four games, end up with a win like this, I think puts you into, you know, I wouldn't call it an offseason, but whatever time you got between now and next time we play, uh, with a positive attitude, uh, you know, with a good taste in your mouth. So, you know, our guys have been working really hard. We practiced a long, long time to get to the first game, and, you know, at times we didn't think we were going to get to play a game. So it's just a blessing to, to get to play tonight and, and uh, come out with a win.